um, ways that homeschool teachers can use all of these elements um, to do regular reading in the house without having any product at all. That's but I, great. But yes, and and I, but I think we have to keep in mind that no matter what product we create, we want it to be somehow interactive so that we we check for understanding mm-hmm. and we we can see the citations there. There's lots of research that show these things work. Multisensory, yeah. so you want them to be able to hear the story, mm-hmm. see the story, touch the story if that's possible, mm-hmm. um, manipulate the story in, in, and and all those things with that mm. comprehension. And we can go on to the next slide. Sure. Which also, and we want to make sure the, the stories have pictures. Mm-hmm. And if we can, to um, have digital content. Because, again, as we said, this is very, very appealing to, right. our, to readers. Now, what I want to say here is how could anyone as a homeschooling teacher do this with their own kids? Mm-hmm. Well, easy enough. You're reading a story. Before, while you're preparing the story you're reading, you grab pictures that match the story, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they could be any. You can go on the internet and find anything, a picture of anything you want right Exactly. (laughs) As you read a paragraph, you hold the picture up or keep your screen on your iPad or your laptop Mm, next to you. Show your your, um, children, your students, a picture of what you're reading. Illustrate it yourself. Easy enough to do text-to-speech also. There are a number of products. I don't know if people are aware of them that actually will for free, um, change text to speech. Mm -hmm. Um, Just Google text to speech and you'll come up with a number of products. The other way to do it, which is a little easier because I find some of those products are a little little trippy, Mm -hmm. um, is, and I used to do this with my kids when they were little, record the book ahead of time. Yes, I used to do that too. Uh huh. Uh huh. Many, many cassette tapes with my voice on them. (laughs) And as they're reading, just let them follow along. So you follow along the text as they're hearing the voice. You're seeing the picture next to them, and the picture is digital, so it's um, appealing to them. Mm -hmm. And you've created your own book. Now, is this a lot more work than? regular book yes it is of course Mm -hmm. but but i think that the results um would be very rewarding and certainly and certainly um, would be easier for uh, a struggling reader to understand Mm -hmm. 